Hello guys, how are you? A lot of you are sending me comments on Zomboid videos. It seems many of you got confused about this new Arsenal update. And let me tell you, it's not your fault at all because for some reason the guy who made Arsenal added an extra mod to it and some of you are activating both mods at the same time, which will give you problems. So in this video, I'm going to show you the correct way to activate your mods and we're going to check if the guns are spawning correctly with the magazines inside the police station. So I'm going to show you this bow to help you to get the mods loaded correctly and also to show you a quick way and easy way to get the weapons early in the game. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new game and load only these three mods. I have a draw on map mod which allows me to draw but that is just to show you where we have to go in order to find these weapons. First we're going to load mod options, then we're also loading Arsenal main mod 2.0. Now it is important that you only load Arsenal main mod 2.0 because that is the last test update version for build 41. You are loading the other mod for Arsenal, that is the older version for Zomboid. And that is why you're getting so many problems. So next is we're also going to load Brita's weapon pack. And if you have Brita's armor pack, you can also enable it for testing. Once we've loaded these mods, we will have to do a little playtest. So now we go to custom sandbox. We're also going to change the present a little bit. Okay, so let's choose uh, Rosewood as our starting location. We are going to reduce the zombie population. And we're also going to increase the spawned items for weapons and ammunition. That will affect Arsenal 2.0. I also like to start with a backpack and have some extra melee weapons, especially a hammer which will be useful to open security doors. We are going to enable an option here that will allow us to see all the map. I also picked the veteran occupation which will allow me to use weapons and guns a lot more efficiently. Make sure to give your character strength and fitness as you're gonna need it when you are fighting the zombies. And it will also help you when you need to climb a fence or two. The police station is the leftmost blue building on this map. Sometimes you can get lucky and you might start in this building. As you can see, I started with a backpack and you can always find a hammer and a baseball bat inside. So I'm going to show you how to walk to the police station. Unfortunately, the game decided that foggy weather is the way to go. But since I got that handy minimap option on, it's not a problem because I can't get lost with it. There is a fence here and there is also a main entrance. In fact, there are many ways you can get inside this uh, police station. For some reason, I didn't lower the zombie population enough, but that's okay because I can test some weapons that I find on the Zs. Once you get inside, you want to make sure that there are no Zs around you. And just down this corridor, you will find these two security doors, which will lead you to the weapon storage lockers. Grab the hammer and start bashing the security doors. It's going to take a while, but eventually it will break. You can also break it by shooting at it with a shotgun. Once 
Once you get past these two security doors, check for weapons and ammo. Also check for magazines and make sure that everything works. As you can see everything works fine, even the M16 with the bayonet attached works fine. Now there is a mod that will allow you to spawn with a weapon when you start a new game. One of them is called Start with Guns for Brita's Weapon Pack. You can select which weapon to start with from the present, which is great. I hope I helped you with the magazine and weapons issue that you might experience. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and like this video, it helps a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.